Hello, this is Hector, a team member with Rooted. What happens when you need devices in your organization to update their software? Typically, downloading software updates and apps can take time as your devices need to connect to servers to download this content. Additionally, these updates and files can range from 100 megabytes to 8 gigabytes in size or more. And each device will need to get the copy from the internet, in many cases consuming a lot of bandwidth. This is fine when you have one or just a few devices. But what if you have more than a dozen devices? Or even hundreds of devices? You may end up downloading many gigabytes of data multiple times and possibly saturating your bandwidth and creating a situation where other devices may experience connectivity issues. But what if there is a better way we can provide this content to users? This is when content caching can help. Apple describes content caching as a macOS service that helps reduce internet data usage and speed up software installation on Mac computers, iOS, and iPadOS devices and Apple TV. Content that can be cached includes software updates for iOS, macOS, and Apple TV, Ad cloud content including photos and documents, App Store content including app updates, and Apple Books content. So what do I need to get started? First, a Mac computer that can run the latest version of macOS, a properly configured local network with access to Apple services, and enough available storage space. So how does it work? Once you enable content caching, your Mac computer's private and public IP information is stored with Apple. When a device requests content from Apple, in this case, an iPad device tries to download a book from Apple Books, the book is downloaded and sent to the device, and a copy is also stored on the local Mac with content caching enabled. When other devices request the same book, they are instructed by Apple to first check with the local Mac to see if there's a copy of the book, and if so, it will obtain the copy from the local Mac computer rather than connecting back to Apple servers making distribution of content simple and faster than having all devices download this content from Apple servers all at the same time. Because Apple devices have to look for Apple services to determine if there's a content caching locally available, once the device leaves the network, however, it no longer looks for the content caching. It gets the content directly from Apple. Content caching can be a great solution for your business. If you have a recent version of macOS installed, content caching can be enabled with just a few clicks. It is already built in. We can help you configure it and make sure you take full advantage of content caching and many other great technologies. To get started, submit a ticket at support.rootedconsulting.org schedule an appointment for streamlined and smooth support.